history lesson about Christmas trees, which originated in 16th century Europe. The Yuletide tradition spread and eventually made its way to North America. But in America, not one, but many communities lay claim to having the first Christmas tree. And for many years, one of them was Worcester in Wayne County, where our Leon Bibb picks up the story. In abundance now, signaling a season of celebration, forests of light, Christmas trees, tinseled, glittering. Some are real trees, others handcrafted. But no matter, the ornamented Christmas tree brings a spirit. These scenes celebrating Christmas prompt nostalgic feelings as I view the old family photographs of the Christmases of my youth. My heartstrings quiver as I remember life around the Christmas tree of my childhood home. Dad and sister and I beam into the camera as mother clicks the picture. The photographs bring forth the question of where was the first Christmas tree in this country? So why don't we enter my time machine for a way back trip, way back. Through the rolling hills of Wayne County, Ohio, time stops and turns backward. Why Wayne County? We hear tell an early Christmas tree originated in Worcester. Through our Wayback Machine, we are on the 19th century Main Street. Answers of the first Christmas tree may be found at the general store. In search of the first Christmas tree, you and I have arrived. Hello, may I help you? Tell me about this first Christmas tree here in Worcester, Ohio. The keeper of the Worcester General Store is all-knowing. Amid the goods in the store, Ray Lysey spins the story of one of the town folk, August Emgard, who is credited with maybe the first Christmas tree in America. He was lonesome for his German tradition of having Christmas trees. That would have been in 1847, when German immigrant August Emgard went in the forest of Worcester, cut down an evergreen and lugged it home. Worcester had never seen such a way to celebrate Christmas before. I don't think they did a lot of celebrating. Uh, you know, the English were a little more centered on the, the one day of Christmas itself. Old August Emgard's <laughs> German-born brother had doubts about a tree brought inside the house. Even against his brother's wishes, because they were trying to look like they weren't German, I suppose, or maybe trying to fit into the Worcester town. But old August would not be denied. <laughs> he decorated the tree with colored ribbons and glitter. The idea caught on. From Worcester, the idea spread. Today, Lisey is president of the Wayne County Historical Society, which chronicles the past. But along the way, we found there was competition. Years later, August Emgard learned he may not have been the first. Mm. But old August M. Gard was at least second. <laughs> but let us not quibble over first or second. You have a deep appreciation for old August M. Gard? Yeah, he was quite a guy, you know, to do this. Outside the old 1847 M. Gard home, Ray Lysey and I view the tree, which is part of Worcester's celebration. By the way, M. Gard was the first to put candy canes on a tree. In his day, the candy was not striped. Worcester has got its place on the map, doesn't yeah, still, it? Still, yeah, still. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Where they buried August M. Gard in Worcester, the folks planted a tree, decorated now for the season. Tribute to a man who longed for the Christmas trees in his native Germany and planted the idea in America. Today, whether our thoughts are in the past or in the present, Christmas trees speak a silent spirit. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. Merry Christmas, everyone. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb. Gosh, Leon did it again. Longtime Clevelanders <laughs> also know of a marker in the city's mall where Zion Lutheran Church once stood. That's right. It honors the first Christmas tree in America publicly lit up and displayed in a church Christmas service. The late pastor Henry Schwann is credited with starting that tradition, which he brought from Germany.